Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Subos page 35, which discusses a situation in which, we, of course, we are familiar that according to Jewish law, we do believe in capital offense uh, and a capital crime. In the event that a person, for example, is a convicted murderer, and that includes there were witnesses and they were given proper warning, and it was done on purpose, that that person would actually be sentenced to death. However, when a person does something vishogeg, namely, it was not done on purpose, but they were a bit negligent, they weren't careful, but in the process they killed someone, and while doing so, there's also some additional financial obligations that that person has to pay, so what is the law? So we actually, as is often done, the fact that a verse has two parts in it, we can make one connection to the other. And the Torah talks about if a person hits and kills an animal. And it also talks about a person who hits and kills a person. And they're juxtaposed. They're written right next to each other. And therefore, when it comes to an animal we're familiar, that it doesn't make any difference what your intention was. If it was done on purpose or by accident, it doesn't matter if it was an upward blow or a downward blow. It doesn't matter if you did so intentionally or unintentionally. When you kill an animal, there is always a financial obligation. You always are obligated to pay. And therefore, interestingly enough, the opposite is derived when it comes to killing a person. In the event, of course, if it was done on purpose, so that's a capital offense. But if it was done by Shogig, it was done inadvertently. Also, the law is that a person will not have to pay. There's not going to be any, any financial obligation. And as we've learned before, the concept is that when it comes to having two crimes that are committed simultaneously, in which there would be a death penalty and a monetary pen penalty, so in that situation, we will typically say that we're only going to do the harsher of the two punishments. And therefore, this person would be sentenced to death. And because of that, they're also not going to have to pay. And therefore, because that's the case when it's done on purpose, we're also going to extend it also when it was done accidentally. So again, it's very interesting how sometimes we find in the Talmud that we make comparisons of one thing to the next through the fact that two things are written next to one another. And this is the idea of how things are juxtaposed, which of course also teaches us in life that when a person is next to another individual, so very often one could learn from them and they could learn from me. And therefore this is why the Torah is often so careful when it tells us to distance ourselves from a shachin ra, a bad neighbor, a chaver ra, a bad friend, pegara, bad meeting, encounter. Because when you have someone that is right next to you, you are going to end up affecting and learning one from the other. Just like in certain ways, it's also done here.